welcome to week two of your Tennis for Kids course. The warm up today, I'm gonna to call out some different movements for you to do. So we're gonna start with easiest movements of all. We're just gonna start with jogging. Excellent, and stop. Okay, right, hands up. Who can give me another movement we might do when we play tennis? We've gotta be moving around, huh? Side steps, excellent. So I want you to stay nice and low when we side step, so knees bent. Okay, anywhere you like around the court, and stop. Okay, right, hands up. Who can think of any other movements? Yes. Skipping. Skipping, excellent. But we're gonna skip and try and bring our knees as high as we can. And stop. Okay, right, one more. What do you think of? Running backwards. So make sure you look over your shoulder to see where you're going. So just jogging backwards. Okay, right, this time. I'm going to call out a number. Now that number is how you have to move. One. So if I call out the number one, we're going to run. If I call out the number two, we're going to sidestep. Three. If I call out the number three, we're going to skip. And if I call out the number four, we're going to run backwards. Two. Three. Excellent. The next drill we're going to do today is called mountains and valleys. We're gonna be in two teams because this is a bit of a competition. I'm going to give you a number. A number one is going to be the mountains team. Your aim is to try and make every single cone around the tennis court into a mountain. Team two is going to be the valleys team. Your aim is to try and make every single cone into a valley. Six, five, four, three, two, one, stop! Everybody come and sit back down on the sideline over here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mountains. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine valleys. Right, well done, Team Mountain. Right, everybody, now, this time, who can hold up their non-dominant hand? Okay, now, this time, you can only use your left hand. So we've got 30 seconds again. Left hand only to move the cones. Who here has played football before? Now, we've got to use our feet just as much when we play tennis as we do when we play football. It's really important to be able to get really skillful and really controlling with our feet. So, we're going to find a partner. We're going to stand opposite our partner. We can only use the inside of our foot to pass the ball to our partner. Doesn't matter which foot I use, but I've got to use the inside of my foot. This time, just slightly different in that you've got to use the other foot to kick the ball back from whichever foot you stop it with. So, if I stop the ball with my right foot, I've got to then kick it back using the inside of my left foot. The next drill we're going to do is something similar to we did last week, but this time we're gonna focus on being in a particular position, which is really, really important when we play tennis. We're going to find a partner and we're going to get a ball between the two. Now, do you remember last week we were trying to pop the ball up to our partner so they could catch it? This time we're going to focus on being in what's called the warrior position. Now, a warrior position is feet wider than shoulder width apart, knees bent, so we're ready to catch that ball. So we're going to try and pop that ball up to our partner and we're going to try and catch it. But at this position, bent over, knees bent, feet wide apart is the most important part of all. The next progression, just to make this a little bit harder, is instead of popping the ball up, we're gonna do a forehand or a backhand throw. So I'm gonna stand slightly side on, I'm gonna hold the ball with two hands, I'm gonna throw it up, let it bounce, and catch it. I'm gonna get back in that warrior position. Let's see if you can do the same. Okay, fantastic. The next drill, everybody, we're gonna get our rackets out, okay? So we're going to be in pairs again. One person is gonna have a ball and one person is gonna have two rackets. So you're gonna have your racket and your partner's racket. And we're gonna try and see if we can catch the ball between both rackets 
and we're gonna try and throw the ball back to our partner in the style of a forehand. Now I want you to throw it to my backhand. We're gonna see how many in a row we can get and then we will switch over who is throwing and who is catching. Okay, right, gets a little bit harder now. This time, instead of throwing it back to our partner, we're gonna try and drop the ball and we're gonna try and bop it back to our partner. We are now going to be at a stage where we can hit the ball over the net, hopefully, okay? We're going to now be hitting those backhands, okay? over the net with a partner. So do you remember how we were holding it for a forehand? We're now gonna add the other hand on top. Okay, so we've got both hands on the grip now. We're going to start off with our feet side on and just behind the yellow line. Okay, we're gonna have our strings pointing towards our partner and she's gonna try and throw the ball to me. Okay, so it bounces in front of me and I'm gonna try and tap that ball back. Okay, everybody, I want you to now to swap sides and we're gonna have a little competition. First team to catch five of your partner's backhands. This time, the hitters are gonna be starting in that warrior position. Then I'm gonna move my racket to the side as soon as my partner throws that ball. Okay, so I move it to the side, okay, and try and play that backhand back. So I've got to be started in the warrior position. Fantastic work so far, everybody. Okay, now comes the really fun bit. Okay, we're going to start actually trying to rally. Okay, so our aim is to try and get as many as we can, but we need to start at the beginning. We have to do a rally of one to begin with. So what it means is I've got to get the ball over the net and you've got to catch it. Yes, so that's a rally of one. Okay, so now this time you've got to tap it over and I've got to tap it back to you. Two, catch. Yes, so now, what do we get up to? We've got to do three and then catch it. Now we're going to have three minutes to see which team can get the highest ball. Remember, you've got to start with one. Okay, so one catch. So you've done one. Now see if you can get to two. Two, catch it, catch it. Excellent.